Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the what's on my iPhone tag. I did one about a year ago and I wanted to do an updated one because I got a new phone a few months ago and just like everything is completely different and also I love watching these things. They're so interesting just to see what other people have on their iPhones. I don't know, kind of weird. Um, also, if my voice sounds really strange, I'm sorry. I've been like, I was really sick like a few days ago and I'm still kind of getting over that if you guys want to see what is on my iphone plus wait want to see what's on my iphone 6 plus just keep on watching okay so this is my phone as you can see i have the iphone 6 plus it's in gold and then this is my case it's just like pastel tie-dye and i got it from icing for like eight dollars i think it's really cute it's not super protective but i think it looks cute so this is my home screen or my lock screen and it's just a pic collage I made of all of my friends and I and I was open on Instagram, that's awkward. Okay, so this is the first thing I see when I open my phone. It's just this little puppy with these cool like glasses on, some glasses that I found off Tumblr. And then I don't really have a lot on my first page because I like to be able to see like the little screens I have and I only have two pages but I just like to be able to see the little like wallpapers I have. So the first thing, the first little folder I have is photos. I just have all my photo apps that I use. So I have photos, camera, visco cam, which I love. It's the only um, app I use to edit my pictures. Widegram, which I rarely use, but if I ever want to like, like put a white border, I use that. And then I have photo grid, which is what I use to make my pic collage. And I just use it, I don't use it that often, but I do like it to make little collages. Next I have sleep cycle, which if you watched my last, it's on my iPhone. I love Sleep Cycle. I use it every day and it's or every night when I sleep and it's such an amazing app so I highly recommend it. I think it's like two or three dollars but it's definitely worth it. Then down here I have messages, Twitter, which if you want to follow me, it's at at Grace Liz Clark. I'll have it linked down below, but follow me. I, I love Twitter. I'm on there all the time. The next folder I have is faves, I have Spotify, and I freaking love Spotify. It's like, I don't use iTunes, I use Spotify because I have premium and I love it so, so, so much because I just love making playlists. So this is like my playlist that I have all of my favorite music on, so I'll just scroll through so you can see what music I like to listen to. I have quite like a different like selection. I have like everything. It's a lot, but... So yeah, that's my music app. And then I have Instagram, which is the same as my Twitter, Grace Liz Clark, that'll be linked down below. If you want to follow me, I post a lot of pictures of myself, but you know, isn't that what Instagram's for? Then I have the YouTube app, but I freaking love YouTube. I have Pinterest, which is also Grace Liz Clark. That's like what I changed everything to because it's easiest to find me on, and I love Pinterest as well. I'm on Pinterest all the time. I like, um, I think I pin way too much, but it's fun. Then I have Snapchat and SoundCloud, which I don't use SoundCloud that much, but I use it for like songs I can't find on Spotify. And the next page, the first one I have is phone. So I just have FaceTime and phone. And then I have Plus, which is just apps I don't really use that much, like Safari, Mail, Calculator, Contacts, Maps, Clock, Calendar, Weather, Reminders. I use Reminders so much, but I usually just ask Siri to make reminders for me. And then notes and then over next to that i have apple which is just stuff that comes with apple like the phone like the itunes store app store videos and music which i never use videos and music like ever then i have extras which is stuff i never ever have ever used on my phone like i think they're kind of pointless i have fitty which is fitty like fit i don't know i thought it was cute but i just have my fitbit app because i have a fitbit which i never really use this i just use look at my fitbit to see like my information then i have little like like the the celebration like things with the confetti coming out of them i don't know i just have a countdown app which i just have a countdown to my 18th birthday which is in six months six days eight hours 32 minutes and 50 seconds and counting then i have the countdown for christmas app because i love christmas and it christmas is if you wanted to know in 340 three days, eight hours, 33 minutes, and 42 seconds. So exciting, guys. Then I have shopping, which I just have the Urban Outfitters app and Poshmark, and I just started doing Poshmark about a week ago, insert the song, about a week ago. Um, but I love Poshmark, and I've only sold one thing so far, but 
if you want to follow me it's at graceless clark surprise surprise but um i have a bunch of stuff on there well not a bunch but like 10 or so items see just stole my sweater but i love poshmark and i have two more things that i'm going to be posting soon i just need to get pictures of it but i love it so if you follow me i will follow you back because i just love poshmark it's my obsession and then next I have settings, and then I have school. I have Skyward, which is like what we use for our grades. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog breathing. She's right next to the camera. She wanted to come and say hi, but then I have BetterNet, which um, my school blocks a lot of stuff on the Wi-Fi. So if you download BetterNet and you like turn it on, it unblocks everything and it's free and it's really cool. So I highly recommend it because my school literally blocks everything and it's so frustrating. Um, next I have business, which is like, I mean, I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything. I think it's cute. I don't know, but so I have the studio app and the Huntington app for my bank. The studio app because I can reply to comments or look at like likes and stuff. So I think it's really useful if you're a YouTuber. Next I have Facebook, Google Maps, because Google Maps is so much better than the maps that come with your iPhone. They're so much more accurate. So yeah, that is all that is on my iPhone. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!